look in the last couple of days, uh, picked up some things that we can go through that I'm going to go over. Picked up a couple of five packs that uh, I want to open up and take a closer look at. So we're going to open those, take a closer look at those. Then I was able to get uh, another series, another five series of cars. Um, not a new release when it comes to this series of cars. Uh, it's old actually, but I didn't grab it when I first saw it on the pegs. And then I was at I was at Walmart and they put a bunch of them out. So I grabbed two sets uh, just in case somebody else wants to set. Um, also, the Mustang Hunter gave me a couple more L case cars that I didn't have. So um, now I'm only looking for two L case cars that I'm still missing. But uh, yeah, let's turn this camera around and uh, take a closer look at this stuff. All right, here we go. Hey, uh, just a little reminder. Sunday, we got the races on Sunday. Um, and Rapid Nismo is going to take on the gauntlet. So let's see how he does on Sunday. But um, real quick, L case cars that the Mustang Hunter had gotten me. So first, check this out. Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. That looks, I like, I love the way that looks. That's very, very cool. So yeah, the Mustang Hunter hooked me up with this. Didn't have it, didn't find it in the first, you know, LK scrap or haul that I had. And then he also, this one I was really excited about, got me the Liberty Walk. And look at this thing. I love everything about this car, this cast. The color is right, you know, the decals on it, the decals. <laughs> it is perfect. I love this back's done right I mean this the wide body kit that's on it well it's the Liberty Walk kit but yeah this is how long that name is that's funny this is nice this is really nice I'm so I'm glad that he uh, grabbed one of these when he saw it for me because guys this is a car that everybody's gonna be that everyone's looking for so this is gonna be one that's hard to get Hard to get because first of all there's not very many of them in each case and everybody's looking for it everybody is looking for it all right so is able to come across this set right here this the uh, maximum venom and so it's a uh, you know it's a five set there's five cars here and I was able to get all five of them like I was saying I was able to grab two complete sets of uh of this um you know one for my personal which is going to hang up on the wall with the other sets that i have and then one for trade one for you know or or if somebody was just looking for it and like me didn't pick it up when it first showed up on the pegs you know i've got an extra set now so this is the uh the dodge challenger the hemi challenger which this cast i i like this cast all the different color variations that this cast has come out in has just looked good. And this red with those white wheels, I don't know, I like it. I think this looks nice, this looks mean. So there you go, this is the Spider-Man, the Venomized Spider-Man, Dodge Challenger. And then we have, it's a fantasy casting, the Jack Hammer, which is the Venomized Iron Man livery um, yeah. I don't know it's fantasy car looks looks like a, an old station wagon <laughs> not my favorite but uh, because it's a part of this set because it's a part of the five is a number two in the in the series um, I grabbed it so that it can hang on the wall. I like the card art. That looks cool. I like the card art on this one too. The card art on all these are good. So, as we will see. This I like. So this is the Venomized Doctor Strange. It is the Tail Dragger. And I just, I like this cast. I like the Tail Dragger cast because it just looks so gangster. Yeah, this looks really good. So, and then again, with that card art, that looks, 
It looks evil. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So yeah, the tail, the tail dragger, Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. And then we have Venomized Groot. The custom uh, Ford Mustang. So. <laughs> Venomized Groot. And so it's the Ford, it's the Ford Mustang. Look at that guys, I didn't realize that this blister was busted. Yeah, that, bit, that blister's busted wide open. Well, that's a bummer. I'm gonna have to go back and maybe find one that doesn't have a busted blister. Well, that's okay. So, there it is, Venomized Groot. And that's car number four in the five series. Car number five in the five series is the 71 El Camino. This is the Venomized Captain America. Look at that card art, that's cool. Um, I love this color blue with those red wheels. This is a good livery right here. This looks so much better than it being an art car. Yeah, looks so much better like this than it being in the art car. Yeah. All right, 71 El Camino, Captain America, Venom. Okay, so I also, I grabbed this five pack, mostly because I wanted that Ford Festiva. The Ford Festiva. But you know, it has the 2013 Mustang GT and the Jeepster Commando, the Dune and the, and the Maximum Leeway and the Dune Crusher, whatever, I don't know, whatever, whatever on those ones, these two cars. But uh, yeah, those, those are cool. So hey, let's, let's open these. I also, like I said, I also have the, uh, the Fast and Furious, the latest Fast and Furious one. So let's open them up. But let me get this, let me get this stuff out of the way. Let's see, let's put them on my noisy turntable. Here. That's probably a good spot for it. Uh, maybe we'll tilt the camera a little bit like that. So my turntable's kind of noisy, but is what it is. So hopefully it's not too noisy for us. Let me get a knife and open this up real quick. My chair is kind of noisy too. All right, I know you guys can't see what I'm doing, but I promise you, I promise that I am cutting away from myself, okay? So there will be no cutting myself. Totally cut away from myself. Okay, so here we go. Got that open. Pull out. And take a closer look at what we got here. So, set that here. Where is it? There it is. Turn the turntable on. See how it kind of makes that noisy noise? That, that clicking noise. Let's see here. Hmm. I think we should get it closer all right I don't know looks like a zebra doesn't really excite me like I said these first two cars these fantasy cars I'm not I'm not real big on but here it is that was in the that's in the five pack I set that one off to the side here and then this one the dune what they call this? The Dune Crusher. Not a big fan of either. But I've never been a big fan of fantasy cars. So. Yeah, there's really nothing about this car I like. So let's get it off that turntable. Now this, this was the reason why I bought this. Is because of this car right here. Ford Festiva. And I have to say, I like the color. I like that. 
that gray and the, the way they have the gold on the wheels. Um, let's go and let that go around a little bit. This is why I picked up this five pack though, was because of that one. But we have, here's the, the Jeepster. This set actually looks pretty cool. It's not a bad looking cast right here. Probably throw some details on that on that motorbike hanging off the back and it would it would look pretty good. Throw some headlights on that thing. I mean, that's really kind of all it needs is some headlights and that motorcycle to be detailed out and then it would look pretty good. I'm glad it doesn't have mud tires on it because Hot Wheels likes to put mud tires on these kind of things. I'm glad it doesn't have that, so. And Last for this pack is this Mustang. Now, I don't understand this Mustang. It says it's a, what year was this in? This was this is a 2013 Mustang GT, but it looks, it looks very pro stock to me. And I'm not sure what kind of motor that's supposed to be, but I mean, I guess it's a V8, but dang, that's a long motor. <laughs> Any, I don't know. I mean, this looks kind of, I guess it kind of looks cool. I'll probably pass this car along to the Mustang Hunter. I actually think he has another one of these castings that looks like this. So, but um, yeah, I don't know. Not something that is tickling my fancy, that's for sure. Okay, let's open up this. Fast and Furious 5-pack because this one's where it's at. Once again, guys, I'm cut, cutting away from myself. Okay, here we go. Let's get into these cars because these cars look cool. Yeah, these cars look really cool. Get the Mustang off of here. Now, First is the first up I'm gonna put on here is the 61 Impala. Now this we've seen in the in the five packs before, but I believe in the old five pack the the wheels are different. I think, or maybe it's the maybe it's the Gran Torino that has the different wheels. I think it's the Gran Torino that has the different wheels. Yeah. In the other five pack, yeah, these this car is the same. So in the earlier release of the Fast and the Furious five pack, this car is exactly the same as the other car. Still cool, dude. I love this cast. That just looks good. That looks really good. All right, so up next, I was excited about this one too. When I saw this in this five pack, I was really excited about it. But we've got the, the Ford GT40 right here. This looks good. Let me get that centered on there. Look at that. I like that blue with the white racing stripes. Yeah, and then it's got the details. It actually says Ford on the door, on the door stripe there. That looks good. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about this car right here. This is a good looking cast. Very good looking cast. All right, so now here, this is the, the, the Torino. This is the Grand Torino right here. And in the other five pack, uh, same cast, different wheels, but man, this looks good. This is also a very good looking cast. I love what, what Hot Wheels is doing, the Fast and Furious cars, because they are putting out some very cool cars with the Fast and Furious name on it. That's, I love that green. This is a very good looking cast. Very good looking. I'll have to dig out my other five pack so that we can compare these cars to the other five pack. Uh, I won't do it in this video, but later, uh, there, there'll be a time. I'm gonna pull out the other five pack so we can open that one up and compare these cars, because that's cool. All right. Next up is the Lancer Evolution. Lancer Evolution. Um, something looks off to me on this cast. 
It may not be the casting, it might be the size of the wheels that they chose for it. But to me, I don't know, something looks off on this car. It looks maybe too tall or squattier. Like, something's off. The proportions aren't correct in this vehicle. I mean, I like that it's a Lancer Evo, but I just don't think it's... The car looks too tall for the hood and the trunk. Um, that front windshield looks ginormous. Like, I can't, I don't think the real car has a windshield, a front windshield that is that big. So, I don't know. There's, like I said, something looks off on this for me. So, not a big fan, but yeah, there it is, Lancer Evo. Now, this last car, I think, is done perfectly. This car is done perfectly. This is the Nissan 350Z. Man, this is beautiful. I love this car. I love this cast. I love the livery on it. I like everything about it. The paint job, you know, headlights, taillights. This car is done right. It is beautiful. Um, in fact, you know, that's pretty much what I have to show. And because I love this car the most, I mean, this is, like I said, this car is gorgeous. It is beautiful. Uh, why don't we make this car the photo montage? So here we go. Let's get to it. Photo montage. Yeah. Are we talking about losing control? I'm gonna show you how we lose control, baby. <laughs> 